first you solve the minimum. Yeah. Yes. My name is Mahat Saif Gabouj. I'm an Academy of Finland professor of signal processing uh, at uh, Tampere University of Technology. In our group, we have uh, a few postdocs, a couple of uh, uh, tens of PhD students, and then we have a handful of master's uh, students working on their master thesis. When, when I applied for, for the Academy of Finland Professorship, I thought that I would like to study um, new algorithms for uh, signal and image processing and video signal processing. And we had a, uh, a couple of applications in mind. One is called uh, Media Search Engine, uh, and the other one is about video compression standards. And soon after that, we realized that uh, that's not really exactly what we wanted to do. And what we wanted to do was to uh, create something new. And by going multidisciplinary, we were able to uh, grab new ideas and new knowledge which we were integrating, which we successfully integrated into our work and came up with something new. So just an example of what we have done in the past is we were able to integrate some principles from particle physics, from quantum mechanics to be exact, into the world of object extraction in computer vision, in image processing. And with that, we developed something we call the quantum cut algorithm that is very much now the leading algorithm in uh, salient object extraction from images. Object extraction means the following. So you are looking at the scene and you want to decide automatically and quickly what is the most important object in that scene. Human being can do this very, very quickly because we can, we, we, our eyes uh, got used to it uh, and, and, and we can do it very fast and very quickly and efficiently. But computers cannot do it if we don't devise the proper algorithm for them. So now we can, if my algorithm was, for instance, embedded in your camera, then it will find out that the main object in the scene is me and my face, and it will focus automatically on that object without you having to focus it manually. And then if you move your camera to somewhere else, it will also automatically find that object of interest, that salient object, and focus on it automatically. This is only one of the applications of uh, quantum uh, cut uh, algorithm that we have developed as a multidisciplinary research between particle physics, quantum mechanics, and image processing and computer vision. Mathematics is difficult for people who don't know the basics and sometimes when it comes to applications uh, if you are clever enough and able to hide the mathematics and show the impact of your mathematics to the real problem that will be okay. When we are dealing with complicated gadget nowadays we are not seeing those mathematics and the background behind it, all the engine working in the background. But we need to have those types of gadget that are easily uh, usable, we can interact with them easily and we can uh, do what is meant to be done with those gadget in an easy user uh, friendly type uh, relationship with those gadget. Our purpose here is to create new science and new technology that can bring about the new products and that for our companies to make more money, uh, hire new uh, people all the time. At the same time, there is only a certain time that we can go on with our applied research. We need to renew research, we need to renew our uh, science so that we can invent and create the next generation. Basic, basic research is like the fundamental blood. If you don't have fundamental blood uh, uh, running in your veins and new blood running into your vein all the time, uh, then there is a problem because that old stuff will disappear and will become obsolete at a certain point of time. So it is very important that science is renewed, techniques are renewed, new 
methodologies are created all the time. And this is what we are doing here in my department and also in my group, is we are developing new fundamental basic science because that feeds the new application. We cannot simply look at the mid-term solution, we have to look at, at, uh, at the future and uh, we have to anticipate the future and not only anticipate but we have to create the future.